Here we go, guys. This I didn't think would happen till maybe spring, but it's already happening right now. We're not even to February yet. So there's some really incredible data points that's happening right now in the market that really is showing signs of the market coming back, not just coming back, but coming back extremely, extremely strong. I also want to share with you why we're going to see a massive wave of negative media about the real estate market. You know, massive, you know, negative headlines about real estate coming up very soon when in fact the market is not going to be bad at all. But I want to I want to share with you why I feel like we're about to start seeing these massively negative headlines. I want to prepare you so that you when you see these negative headlines, you knew it was coming. And you, you understand what's really happening in the market, and you're not phased, you're not scared whatsoever. So those are the things I want to talk about. And as far as the bears out there who think this thing is going to crash harder than 2008, or even maybe just a massive crash, maybe not even as hard as 2008, you know, when you go and show them data that shows otherwise, what their response is always, oh, just wait, it's coming. You wait another year, it's coming. You wait another year. It's coming, and that's what the bears do that, that try to go out here and predict and, and try to project all this fear into the market. And, you know, listen, it's sooner or later they're going to be right. 20 years, within a 20-year span, <laughs> you're going to have a massive crash in there somewhere, and when it happens, they're going to say, see, that's what I was talking about right there. Boom, I was right. No, you weren't. You know, um, you know eight years ago, you said it was going to happen that year. You know, but anyway, nevertheless, I digress. Let's get into some data points here. And we're entering into what I feel like is the next real estate surge. And we've re we're entering into right now already stage two of this. Stage one was more people looking online at properties and searching. So 50% more people um, in the last few weeks are searching homes for sale in their market than was back in November. So we're already seeing that uptick in people showing more interest as mortgage rates start to come down. But what is the most interesting uh, data point that I've seen in a long time was that mortgage applications that were that were submitted, uh, that data shows that mortgage applications was up 28% a week over week last week. 28%. Now, we're still down from last year, of course. But this just goes to show you how much pent-up demand and the smallest little decreases in the mortgage rate, um, what that does to the market. There's so many people sitting on the sidelines just waiting on interest rates to inch down just a little bit more. Right, Every you know five basis points, 10 basis points, we're going to see a wave of buyers come through and look at property. Um, you know, go and put their mortgage applications in, make offers on properties, so on and so forth. That's going to pre present more pending deals. We're going to see more closings. But phase two is already underway with mortgage applications. So phase one was people looking at properties. Phase two is mortgage applications increase. Phase three is we're going to see pending deals go up. That's the next phase of this. And we'll see how long it takes to get from phase two to phase three. It's going to happen. That's going to result in more pending deals and more closings. I'm predicting another year of 5 million transactions. I could be off. The good thing is it doesn't matter if it's 4.5 million, even if it's 4 million, which won't happen. I don't see that happening whatsoever. But even if it's 4 million, which was what it was in 2008, that that's not going to be a massive factor in our success as a real estate agent, as a real estate investor. Why? Because number one, that's plenty of transactions to go out there and, and make a great living, and there's plenty of opportunities. And if that happens, prices are going to be down considerably, which means there's going to be a lot of deals out there. But more so, we're talking about one year out of your 40-year career. We're, you know, I'm helping agents and real estate investors build their careers, ladies and gentlemen, not this year. Yes, I want you to have an amazing 2023, but I want you to have an even more amazing 2026, 2030, 2035. I want you to be in position to go out there and absolutely scale your business to the moon, grab as much market share as you can. And right now is really the best time to go out and grab market share. When most agents and investors are laying down, laying low, pulling back, 
you know, retracting from the market. I mean, look at history. All the greatest companies and most successful agents built their business during the most recessionary periods, including myself. 2008 is when I got back on the market, and by 2014, I was the number one REMAX agent in the state of Alabama, and it's because of what I did during those down years. That was literally the reason why my business exploded when the market rebounded. When the market re-expands, if you put yourself in position by working as hard as you can to build sweat equity into your database, into your relationships with your customers, into building you know, and, and growing your market share, your business is going to explode when the market rebounds. That's just a fact. But getting back to what we're talking about here with this second phase that's already underway, I'm talking to agents all over the country who are getting multiple offers again. They're getting tons of people at their open houses. They're getting tons of showings on their listings. And it's not happening in all markets. I'm also getting messages from people in other markets saying it's still slow, things aren't selling, I'm not getting multiple offers. Yeah, that's the same thing as where I'm at. I'm not getting multiple offers on any of my properties, but I pay attention to what's happening in all the different markets. And I know that real estate is local. And it's completely local, um, but you do have that national kind of vibe as well. And that's what's interesting is that you can kind of see what where things are going based on what's happening in other markets. Just because it's not happening in your market, that's a good thing because that could probably tell you what's coming to your market if things continue to, to progress. So the first thing is mortgage applications are up considerably week over week with that little bump in interest rates coming down. Um, as inflation continues to soften, we're going to see the 30-year fix continue to soften. And every time we see that bump down, we're going to see a bump up in buyer activity. So get ready. And I was thinking also that this wasn't going to happen until spring. It's already happening now. And inventory is plummeting. If you look at MBS, if you look at Redfin data, we're under 700,000 listings, active listings in the U.S. It's like 690,000 some odd uh, listings actively for sale. That is just a ridiculously low number, and the trend is going exactly like this. Now, every single year, including 2021, the boom year, inventory went up. Nobody talks about 2021 inventory going up. It went up for several months in a row. It's crazy. We never hear anything about that, but it happened. The year that things were going for 100000 more than asking price and all that good stuff, inventory went up. And so... Every year, if you look at you know the past five years and you look at the trend of of active listings actively for sale, you see the trend down from up from like August to February. It go, like goes straight down, and then you know late February March it curves up and it starts going back up. We're going to see that this year, I believe. If history is any indicator, and the trend is this, you know, it's been the same you know so many years in a row. We're going to see inventory start to increase uh, come springtime, which is going to be just the trifecta here for interest rates coming down, buyer activity. Um, you know, inventory is going to come. We're going to be at a very low place in inventory. There's really nowhere for it to go but up. But um, it, it's just going to be a very interesting time. Gear up for this. Now, why we're going to see negative media headlines is simply because prices are at 350000 on average right now. We're 1% higher than we were the same time last year. So year over year, we're at 1%. However, last year, prices escalated all the way to about March. Uh, June was the peak. So prices went up all the way to June and then started coming down. And so if prices stay exactly the same right now, three fifty. If prices stay exactly the same, then as that trend from last year intersects the line of this year, then we're going to see negative year over year. And that's when the media is going to have a fill day. And every month, if it stays at 350, if it doesn't go up or down, if it goes down, it'll be worse. If it goes up, it won't be as bad. But if, if it just stays at 350, which I think there's a good possibility it could with the amount of demand that's out there in the, in the low inventory, if it stays at 350, Every month that goes by, the media is going to come out and show a bigger negative percentage year over year price uh, decreases. And they're just going to be ripping real estate to, to shreds with this. While meanwhile, prices are exactly the same. Let's just say that, high, that, that theory plays out, and it is, say, 350 in June when everything was at the peak. 
then that June month is going to be the worst month as far as year-over-year prices. And, you know, even though they're going to show a higher number every month, Price is just the, still the same, 350, 350, 350. And the reason why it's staying at 350 is because the market's so good, because there's so much demand, there's so little supply, and interest rates have gotten better. Um, but the media is the media, and they're going to go out there and have a field day with this. So prepare yourself for the negativity that is more than likely going to come our way due to the fact that we're going to be down from last year. But however, the market is going to be strong. Okay, so just wanted to update you on all of this. I hope you're doing super well. Um, Let me know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. I'm going to link a video right here that I feel like you really need to see. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Keep crushing it. We'll talk to you guys soon. I want to. I want to. Look. I-35 with the top down.